So if you're like me, you've played a fair amount of 2K and you found that year over year the My Player experience tends to be a bit lacking and you, you lose more and more control to the point where it's just not fun anymore. One of the things I put through with one of uh, the earlier videos on this channel was I actually started a series where I was doing my career in my league, including doing a superior version to WNBA My Career, where I got to get a little bit more control and it wasn't as much of just like a day simulator with games in it I could actually see things around the league and kind of move things around and all that so if you like more of that kind of dynasty experience where you get to play as a character and kind of lock yourself into that but still get to manage the league and kind of do some influencing on that then th this tutorial is going to help you one of my main things with this is I'll, I can shorten the seasons, so I don't have to play 82 games a year. I can actually finish seasons and get to the playoffs and actually have a Hall of Fame career where I can normalize all my minutes and all my stats to still get records. So we're going to delve through how to set that up. It's a fairly simple process, and I'm going to walk through how to do it for the WNBA but I'll show the one difference that you would need to do for an NBA-created player instead. So to set this up, we're actually going to go over to Features first and come over here to Create Roster. Here, if you want a male player, pick the NBA. If you want a female player, pick the WNBA. Uh, the request I got for this was about the WNBA, so we're going to go ahead and go through that. Now, here you can kind of start with whatever template you want to start with. I usually start with the official roster because that is the current up-to-date roster. And then from here, you have a couple of options. You can either pick the team that you already want to be on, or you can go ahead and pick a free agent. Um, so you can kind of scroll around and figure out what you want. What you're looking for is you want a player model that looks something looks like something you want. Uh, a player that looks kind of what you're looking to build. For me, I always like to start off with things realistic, so I always try to go for those kind of mid-70s range uh, players anyway. Uh, I don't really have anyone in particular that I'm going to pick out to override, because um, that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to override this player to be more like the build we want to be. Sure, sure, we'll pick you. Uh, from here, all you want to do is go into the Edit Player button, and then you can really go through and edit everything that you want. Now the one issue about this is you don't actually get to customize the look of the player. And that's why I was saying you want to kind of go and look at what you want uh, to look like. So we can customize our height and our weight, but in terms of like the facial structure and all of that, we don't have that ability. But you can go through and edit to whatever you want. You can be as overpowered or underpowered as you want, and you can edit this at any time while in my league. So you can slowly progress yourself into being one of the best players in the WNBA or the NBA. Um, now, you want to keep your changes here. I'm going to remove my changes because I already have a roster built. And when I go to show kind of what this looks like later, I'm going to use the actual roster that I built. Uh, so uh, the one thing I'll recommend is go ahead and pick the team that you want to be on because it makes it a little bit easier, but if you pick a free agent, all you have to do is trade yourself over to another team. And then once you get that done, uh, save your roster, and you would just leave, and then you hit save or save and share. Uh, I usually just pick save, and I name mine something that I can keep track of. So I have WTest, which was my test file, but the women's side. And just go ahead and save it to be whatever you want, something that's recognizable. And then you should be done in your roster creator. Now, keep in mind that you don't want to make this your default roster unless you want to keep with have being able to play with your player in like play now modes. But now that we've done all that, we're actually done in here. And we can actually go into my league. Now, this is where it's going to split up a little bit between your men's side and your women's side. So if you created a male roster, you would go into My League. I'm going to pick Manage Files, but if you don't have any My League files done, it'd be Start a New One. 
create a new My League, and then at this menu here, I'm using a Switch Pro controller, so it gives me number buttons for my buttons, but it's whatever's mapped to my Y button. Allows me to pick a custom roster. Now, we wanna go here to user created roster and pick that roster that you made. So here, I've got my male side test roster and that has my male created character. So I would pick that and then I could go in and keep customizing my league to be whatever I want. I'm gonna back out because you can go through that process there and set the league up however you want. For the women's side, you do the same thing. You start a new WNBA season, it automatically brings you to the roster screen. If it doesn't, there should be a Y button at this current screen or the one that's right after this in order for you to pick a user created roster and then you can put in your roster with your custom created character. But now that that's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a game with my WNBA player or actually jump into my My League with my WNBA player. And you can see everything's kind of just a normal My League. Um, now, if you're looking to get that kind of authentic My Player experience, there's one more thing you're gonna wanna do. If you actually scroll all the way over to uh, position settings, you can go to player lock and lock yourself on your player. And so that means whenever your player is in, you will only play that player. And when your player is out, you will actually automatically sim the game to when you're in next. I like doing that just because I play better as a my player type experience. I'm not as good managing a whole team. But there is one more caveat we got to cover. And this is one that I uh, didn't initially come up or didn't initially think about which is when you come to your minutes screen, you wanna make sure that your my player has minutes. So here is a perfect example. I don't have any minutes, which means I will never get in the game. So I kinda of need to just go through and kind of force manage our roster a little bit, and I'm probably doing things a little poorly um, for my team, but I like to keep things realistic. I don't like to overdo it with my own minutes. So I give myself 13 minutes there. If you don't do this, sorry. If you don't do this, then when you go to uh, play your next game, it will give you a warning saying, hey, you're my player, or the player your player locked into is not getting any minutes. So would you like to adjust that or would you like us to sim the game? So just make sure that your my player has some minutes that way you actually get to play the game. But let's go ahead and actually get a game under our belt, shall we? Now, I will warn you guys, I have not played in like two months. So because of that, I'm gonna be a bit rusty. As you can tell going through that tutorial, I was having a bit of issues with button prompts. But uh, it was nice to show you guys the overall process on how to get your player into a my league game and i like this better uh, i've done a little bit of testing with this and i have my series that i need to put a little more time into now that i'm back but i like the i like the ability to customize the league i like to be able to play shorter seasons and it makes it to where things are a bit more manageable one of the other cool things though that this brings on is it gives you the ability to change some of the rules. So this or this simulation could get like 10 years down the line and then decide, you know what, we're gonna do away with the shot clock. Or you know what, we're gonna make the three point line even further out. And you can kind of get some really crazy customized situations that make it more unique for you. You are losing some of that my player type story that some people really like. Um, I'm usually a fan of the stories, but I just, it gets to a point where I get a little tuned out. And also with the seasons being so long, I never feel like I could actually go and be the best player in the league. And I hate having to sim every third game just because I'm like, I, I can't play this many games. Okay, under 10. Set up this pick. 
drive and we'll take that layup there we go trying to make some smart decisions while we go back uh, I haven't reviewed much of my film but I know that uh, I tend to shoot the mid-range too much 10 you uh you let her get behind you there but as you can see playing's just like normal you don't there's really not much you miss out doing this versus like a my player other than stuff that's outside of the games but um, this does give you the ability to play shorter games like I don't play full regulation length games but my stats do get normalized to those regulation games so I can't actually compete for um, single game records, season records, MVPs, all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, there is a bit of an abuse and you will be one of the best characters depending on how long you play because like I play at half length games so the game goes and takes all of my stats and multiply, multiplies them by two. So because of that I can score like 60 points in my short length game and score 120 point games every night. So that's one thing to think about is, um, or fine tune for yourself on how much of that stat addition is worth it for you. But that's one of those kind of personal things I don't mind because at the end of the day, I'm just playing games. But yeah, that's the one of the things that's a little bit more personalized for you. Oh, have to play actual good defense and pay attention. Uh, I wish this gave you the ability to like fully edit a character, and I'm pretty sure you can use the method I showed you and use like the actual create a player from scratch, and it would work. Uh, the one thing is um, I had a bit of issues pushing them onto the team I wanted, so I just kind of gave up and picked a free agent. But if you ha know how to do that and uh, then I'll link to it or something like that to get the info out but in terms of the actual game we're playing we came in and provide some good minutes there we actually got the lead to end the first quarter after being down I believe six scored six of our own points and got an assist in two boards so far it's pretty good stats for us coming off the bench as a undrafted rookie Now, um, one of the things about doing this is I'm technically the owner or the GM of the Dallas Wings, not my character. And my character could get traded if I don't have, um, if I have it to where the computer can trade, make trades for me, or contract situations. Well, you can easily change over which teams you're controlling to uh, make sure that you're either if you wanted to move to a new team you could or uh, your other option is you can uh, turn on trade override and force yourself to stay at that one team so you've got options there based off of how you want to do it I don't know what the best option is at the moment just because I haven't gotten there yet I'm still in my first year of both of these uh, sims I should have gone for that that was greedy I thought I uh, got past her, but I did not. This is a mismatch. I'd be backing me down in the paint. There, got the ball. Cool. Someone going to fill lanes. Come on, gives you a good matchup. Ah, dang it. I've used too much of my stamina. Damn. Okay, we're, yeah, I was going to say, we're a bit low on stamina, and that run is not looking good. Well, we had a good end of the first quarter, but not so good uh, start of the second, and we get pulled. But we get to come in, and we might close out the second quarter. It might be the end of our minutes. 
Uh, obviously, if you want to have a bit more control on what minutes you play, you can, because you're the actual the coach, you can customize what minutes you play. Oh, good move. But basically, the whole point of this is you get full customization. Which is... Oh, why'd you pull up? So... Less on the rail coverage than... That's totally the girl I was passing it to. Just some weird movement happened there that I was not inputting. I literally was mashing the button to pull up in the corner three after the handoff, and game did not like that. But the point I've been trying to make is, if you want more customization on terms of the overall simulation and what you can do, and the ability to play shorter seasons, it's my main appeal. That was my big selling point on this. Then... This is the kind of thing you want to set up rather than my career. Because, I don't know about you, I've played NBA 2K on and off since 2K10. And my biggest drawback is I believe there's only been one year where I've gotten past my rookie year. It's just the seasons are too long. I've got other games that I want to go play and... Did we make it? The long two. There we go. Help filling those lanes and making some good passes. I don't know how much more coach is actually going to keep us in. We're on a hot start, but... Ah. Still trying to shrink this lead. Give her some space. Why did you take that shot? I guess you got the foul, but still, it's uh, that was a little bit questionable decision. But I hope the tutorial earlier and then this gameplay has helped you out a ton. Uh, if it hasn't, or there's different other things you want me to show, then just let me know down in the comments below, and I can either walk through it or find someone who can explain things better than I can. Uh, but this is just something that I kind of did on my own. I did a little research on how to do custom rosters, and then I don't imagine I'm the only one that's come up with this. There's people who probably do it a lot better than I do. But this is just what I prefer. I don't think it takes away from the experience. You don't get to do the online park games and all that, but let's be honest, um, or at least for me, that wasn't an appeal. I didn't really like playing online with other people. I'm more of a, when I play 2K, I'm playing all on my own. So, if you're like me, this works just fine for you. I need to shoot the ball soon. Oh, in the end, or in the foul. That worked out. So, that should be able to get us in a good spot. She make the free throw. Good. Nice. Might actually carry the lead into this half. contributed a good amount of points here maybe get earn a little bit more minutes just because we're uh, playing well whoa I'm still not very good at playing defense not much things have changed four three two I was gonna say if she made that all right, so that's the end of the first half, and we're up two points, and we've contributed a decent amount, including making two runs with the uh, second team to gain back the lead. Now let's see if uh, we get to play at all the second half.
You might get like two minutes. <laughs> okay, so at the start of the third quarter, let's see what happens here. Oh, and we're in! With a minute 18 left, and we're down 13. Yeah, this is the problem with being the backup point guard. I don't think we're going to get a lot of uh, opportunity here to win this game. Uh, I mean, I could take it because it was scrub time, but I was trying to see if I could come up with a uh, quick three. Juice the run a little bit. Oh, come on. She stepped out. Damn. She put me for a spin cycle. Oh, come on! Hang on to that ball! It was an easy pass for her to take. And we got called for the reach. I need to just give it up. But. Damn. Oh well, we had a good game, and we want to be pro team and all of that, but uh, at the end of the day, we're also an individual. Can you actually catch the ball? And the end one! I'm slowing this game out, <laughs> or down, because we won't win. I should just uh, hold on to it and let let it ride. They'll probably draw out a good 15, 20 seconds of the clock. I could keep uh, reaching, but hmm. let's just get out of here. Got to make up 15 points. That's too high. If it was like seven, I'd consider it. Give me the rebound. Someone want to help me? I mean, I'll take it. Get over 10 points. Garbage time. But I hope that gameplay gave you an idea that it's just like everything else. You get full control and that this getting uh, my league or my player in my league actually isn't that hard. Um, I want to actually get through the end of the game to get back to where the uh, stats are just so I can show you. So because I have sim uh, or normalized minutes to um, or normalized simmed minutes to uh, actual minutes, I actually end up scoring 15 points and getting six rebounds, six assists. So stats are just a little bit different, but it just depends on your game. So like I think this one I ended up scoring for the wings three points. Okay, I didn't have a good game that game. Uh, 11 points, yeah. So basically what you can see is the stats aren't that out of whack, but it's just it's a little bit off. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please let me know if this tutorial helped you out any. And if you enjoyed this gameplay, then please consider taking a look around. I've got a couple of other games from this uh, simulation and from a male side doing the same thing. I'm a point guard. I'm back up point guard with the Utah Jazz, or checking out my NCAA series. Uh, but I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it helps me out so much more than you know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.